I, the show where you send in clothes you found on the internet and then I do my best to recreate them. Today's challenge was suggested by Il Madison who wanted me to try and recreate this lace up crop top where the lace up part actually seems to be shoelaces. This crop top can be found on the website Romwe? Romwe? As I've mentioned before, I avoid these kind of super fast fashion websites because there is just no independent information about how or where these clothes are made. And with the clothes being that cheap, it's pretty safe to assume that the person or people who made the clothes weren't getting paid much at all. So it's a very good candidate for something that we can make for ourselves. So let's begin. So the first thing that I need is a cropped t-shirt. Here is one that I prepared earlier. I'm not going to go through the entire process of making a shirt from scratch because I've covered that in a number of videos already. Watch this video if you want to learn how to make a t-shirt for yourself or this one if you want to make a crop top out of a t-shirt you already own. Of course, you don't have to make one from scratch, you can use any crop t-shirt you already own or find at the thrift shop. The second thing that I need is eyelets. I recently got myself this new pack of eyelets with an eyelet plier because I haven't had such an amazing success with eyelet tools like the ones I used in this episode of Make Thrift Buy. This is the first time I've ever used one of these eyelet pliers, so fingers crossed it works. Next, I try on my top and I draw, using pencil, two lines where I want the lace up part to go. Each line is about four inches away from my belly button, but obviously this will vary from person to person, which is why it's a good idea to make these marks while your top is on your own body. The next thing that I'm going to do, oh, and there's the pencil lines, they're just really faint, is to cut up those pencil lines with a pair of fabric scissors. Now, because this t-shirt is made out of jersey fabric, which is a knit fabric, it doesn't fray, so we don't have to worry about sewing anything here. If you have used a top that you already own, then it's a good idea to go over the ends of the hem with a small zigzag stitch to stop the hem unraveling. However, if you are making your crop top from scratch, do this bit before you hem the bottom of the t-shirt, and then hem before adding the eyelets. Next, I'm going to draw equally spaced dots onto the t-shirt with my pencil, about half an inch away from the slits. Each dot will be one inch apart. So, they look like this. Now I'm going to get a pair of small sharp scissors, I'm using embroidery scissors, and I poke a small hole through each of these dots. Now your own eyelet kit might work slightly differently, so read the instructions on your own kit, but what I do next is to push an eyelet through this small hole with the flat rounded side facing up. The eyelet pushes through pretty easily with the fabric snug around the eyelet because the fabric is stretchy. You don't want to cut your hole too big here. Make sure that the fabric is snug around the eyelet. Then I clamp the eyelet plier down onto the eyelet and... Well that was easy. The eyelet is now in the fabric. Awesome! I definitely recommend getting one of these if you're going to be using eyelets in craft projects more than once. I repeated this process for all the other small holes until I had done all 12. And then I decided that the laces would look better if I had one more set of holes, so I simply cut up the slit another inch and I added four more in the same way as the others. And now I'm going to need some shoelaces. Hmm. Well, I didn't have any new shoelaces on hand, so I went and borrowed some from my partner's running shoes. And don't worry, I ordered some more. He'll never even notice that they were gone. Then I pretty much just laced up the shoelaces through the eyelets exactly like how you lace up a shoe. So I went through the top two eyelets first, then underneath and up through the opposite eyelet and continued that through all the eyelets and then tied it off in a bow at the end. And just a side note, I was worried that the underside of these eyelets would stab me when I was wearing the top because they're not totally flat once installed. They have these slightly spiky edges but adding in the shoelaces totally prevents any contact of the eyelets with the skin, so that was absolutely okay. So now, the real question is, how did I go? I ended up making two versions of this top, one that's tight-fitting and one that's loose-fitting. I actually really like how both turned out, but they both definitely give a different kind of look. I think the loose fitting one is the one that's more appropriate to wear to a family dinner, for instance, but I still really like both of them. Whichever one you end up making sort of depends on what kind of look you're going for. So my conclusion is, make! 
If you want to make this an easier project or you're new to DIY and you're in clothes, then you don't even have to make your own t-shirt from scratch. You can just use one that you found at the thrift store or one that you already own. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't noticed it already, I have a brand new YouTube banner. The banner is by an amazing young artist called Serena, whose work you can find at these other places. And I just have to go through the small details in this banner because there's a lot of things that you probably won't notice if you just have a glance at the header on my channel. So Cartoon Me is wearing four different Make Thrift Buy items. There's my heart cutout top from episode 28, my lace suspender shorts from episode 21, my ombre socks from episode 34, and my light up shoes from episode 25. And then wielding a giant sewing needle, I'm fighting a giant clothes monster, which is kind of like my style pile come to life. The monster is made up of all different pieces of clothing and sewing pins, and it has a zipper for its mouth, and it's uvula, ovula, that dangly bit at the back of your throat is a clothing tag. Plus we're also like fighting in space, so it's kind of the best thing ever. Thank you so much Serena and definitely go and check out her other artwork. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Thank you so much to all of my patrons for helping to make this video possible. To support me on Patreon, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria.